What's up guys? It's your girl Eve and this is the Ev Effect. So today we're talking all about oud bouquet, okay? Um, and typically I don't really do videos on just one particular fragrance, but I've got a little story to tell with this one, so I decided to do a separate video. But before we get into that, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and clicking on yet another video. If you're new here and you stumbled upon my page, I hope that you'll check me out and then consider hitting that subscribe button. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop some new content. So, like I said, I typically prefer to do uh, fragrance videos that entail some sort of list or what have you, but today I wanted to highlight this new beauty in my collection, Oud Bouquet. Now this is a fan favorite a crowd favorite actually and I've heard so much about this especially last year in 2020 while we were all in lockdown and I don't know I don't know why I never pulled the trigger I did hear a lot about how the formulation for this had changed and so with the older formulation the bottle actually is a bit different from the one that I have so on the old bottle there are actually three plaques so one in the front and two on the side whereas on my bottle which I assume is the new formulation I have like this intricate detailing of a flower or I guess a rose is what that is still very pretty um but yeah, so I heard a lot about how the formulation had changed on this and I know what it feels like to have a fragrance, adore the scent, and then they go and change the formulation when nobody asked them to. So I guess I just wanted to avoid that whole debacle altogether. I guess, I don't know, but I hesitated to pull the trigger on this, heard a lot of great things about this, and I finally got it in my collection. So this actually wasn't even on my radar to get. I had gone to the mall for something completely different. I wasn't even going there for a fragrance. I was going to pick up something for a friend. But what I typically do is when I go through a big retailer store. So let me back up. So I had gone to the mall. Okay. I had parked in the parking garage of Saks and it was princess parking. I was there in the front. So the day was already starting off on a good foot. Okay. Park my car, head into Saks and I'm walking through. I typically will stop at the various fragrance counters and get a sniff of, you know, what's happening, what's popping, what's good, okay? And I had actually stopped at the Tiziana Terenzi counter and I was there for a good while just getting a whiff of all the different fragrances that I had been wanting to try. Um, I only have one Tiziana Terenzi in my collection and I just kind of wanted to see what was worth me, you know, considering in the future. Anyway, so as I am smelling the fragrances, somebody else comes up and she's getting a whiff of stuff and then we start talking and then we become fragrance besties in sex, right? So we're smelling Tiziana Terenzi fragrances and then I just happen to look to my left and I see the Lancome counter. And so I was like, oh, let me head over there and smell what they have because I had never really gotten my nose on any of the private line fragrances from Lancome. So I walk up to the counter and then I see Oud Bouquet and then I remembered, hey, this is a popular fragrance, Rose and Oud fragrance, so let me try it, okay? Now, I've said this before, fragrances smell different on paper than they do on skin. So the rep sprays it on the paper. I smell it. It's okay. You know, it's okay. And then, so I said, let me go ahead and try it on my skin and I'll walk around, see how I like it, see what it does. And if I like it, I might consider buying it. So he sprays it on my hand and I let it marinate. And then me and my new friend, we start chopping it up and discussing our different thoughts and opinions on the various fragrances that we had just smelled. Okay. So as I make my way through the mall on this journey of what I was originally supposed to do, um, I am starting to get wafts and whiffs of this fragrance. And as I am making that journey, I literally got stopped three different times and they're asking me what are you wearing? I remember the last time that I got stopped, I was passing by the Gucci store. And so typically by the designer stores, there's like long lines. And I was kind of close because I was trying to avoid people to my left. So I'm to the right. So I'm closer to the line. 
And so I'm walking past the line and as I'm walking, this guy shouts out, man, you smell good. I turned back. I was like, okay, I think that's confirmation that I need to go ahead and get this fragrance, okay? So anyways, I do what I need to do and then I make my way back to the other side of the mall, back to sex. So I decide to go ahead and pick up Oud Bouquet because I do realize that this is not as easy to get anymore either, even though this is a newer formulation. Um, I decide to go ahead and buy it. I liked it enough on my skin after it had marinated for a while. Plus I got compliments and a little compliment never hurts nobody, okay? I feel like that was my confirmation to go ahead and get it. I will say that this is not the one that caught my nose and made me fall in love at first sniff. This isn't it. So in the midst of the sales rep spraying the paper strips for me to smell the various offerings from Lancome, he had sprayed Parfait de Roses. Y'all, I fell in love at first sniff. I fell in love at first sniff and I immediately said, pack that up because I want a bottle. And then he hurt my feelings when he told me, unfortunately, we don't have any more, okay? And I want to say this is discontinued as well, or it's about to be discontinued. And I was like, what? Discontinued? Why would you spray something for me to smell if it's not even available for me to buy? So I'm whining a little bit and I'm like distraught because I truly love this fragrance. Sprayed it on my arm. I'm loving the way it's coming off of my skin. And I was like, I gotta have it. And he was like, let me look in my system and see if it's available anywhere, like in the warehouse or anywhere, okay? So he looks in the system, nowhere in the country can he find any available. And he's like, ma'am, I do think that this is discontinued. Hurt my little heart. And he saw the look on my face and he's like, I am so sorry. I did not know that you were gonna like this this much. I just wanted you to smell the different available options that Lancome has. And I was like, okay, well, if there aren't any more, can I buy this sample off of you? He said, uh, I don't think we could do that. I said, I am willing to pay whatever retail is, even though the bottle wasn't full. It was about three fourths the way full, but I was willing to pay a full bottle price for a fourth missing bottle, right? He said, ma'am, I, I, I can't do that and so I, my my little feelings were hurt they were hurt he saw that and my my new friend she was like oh man you got to make it up to her some some way somehow some way okay so he was very very sweet he tried to accommodate as much as possible by looking to see if he could you know fetch it for me someplace in the country and unfortunately to no avail so he went ahead and made me some samples, some to-go samples, and I'm so glad that he put it in the sprayer versus just the little things that you just screw the top off. I do not like those, okay? Um, so he made me, actually he made me four samples. I've already gone through one whole vial of this, but these aren't very big anyway. So I was happy that he was sweet enough to even make me four of these. Typically they only give you one, but he made me four of these. And yeah, I fell in love with this fragrance as soon as I smelt it. And it's so unfortunate that Lancome discontinued this scent. I don't even know when this came out, but y'all, this is so good. This is a like a sugary, sweet rose, okay? And almost kind of like powdered sugar rose. And to me on my skin, it's not cloyingly sweet, but it's sweet. Okay, it makes me sweet enough to eat. <sighs> Y'all, I love this so good. And it's a little bit powdery too. I love this so much. And I hate that I cannot find it. I hate that I cannot find it. And you best believe when I went home, I went looking and searching myself to see if I could possibly find a bottle, but it's it's discontinued. Um, yeah. So Parfait de Roses was actually my favorite. And then Oud Bouquet was the second runner up, but this was actually the last bottle that he had of this. So I went ahead and scooped her up. She is a beautiful rose Oud combination. I wanna say there's like praline and vanilla in this. Let me pull up the notes. 
Okay, so for the notes, all it lists, and I'm looking on Fragrantica, all it lists is Oud, Praline, Vanilla, Rose, and Saffron. And so this is not a safe blind buy, guys. I would not say that even if you like Rose and Oud, I would not suggest that you blind buy this. Go and smell this first because I do feel like it is a strong Oud Rose combination presence, but it's sweet. It's really sweet too. So I would say test this out. Like I'm not even going to say blind buying is an option. Test this out first before even considering buying, which I am glad that I didn't pull the trigger on a blind buy last year, even though I heard a lot of rave reviews about this. I'm glad I waited to at least get my nose on it before pulling the trigger. But it's a beautiful fall scent. The lasting power is amazing. You won't have any performance issues with this. The sillage is amazing. I mean, it gets 10 out of 10 really for performance from me. You don't really need to top this up. I would also say watch out for the trigger. Like I said, it is a heavy oud rose combination. So I don't think you need to do the most for this to give what it needs to give or what it's supposed to give. This is gonna do you just fine if you, go, go easy on a trigger, okay? If, you, if you're disrespectful like me, you don't have to do the most. Not with this one, okay? This is the new formulation. I do not know what the original formulation smells like. I've heard that it's much sweeter, much much more potent than this one. I don't know, but this one is good enough for me. So I'm happy with it. I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. I do want to share two other samples I was able to get. And this was on a separate visit. And this was actually at Neiman's that I got uh, to sample a couple of others. And I will say that this particular visit I didn't get the most pleasant interaction and probably because I wasn't making a purchase this particular day. So I was only able to smell Santal cardamom and then Jasmine marzipan. Now, I love the note of cardamom. I love the note of sandalwood. But in this one, it's a little bit too spicy for me. There's in my opinion, there's way too much cardamom in this one. It's not really balanced out with the sandalwood. It's super, super spicy. And I'm, I don't know. I, I really need to wear this. I haven't been able to wear this. And this is, these are the little tubs that I am not fond of because you can't really get the feel of how a fragrance plays on your skin by dabbing it you really need a sprayer so i need to get a sprayer so i can offload this into that and then just test it out just to see but off the card off of first sniff it was really spicy and i think it's it's just a heavy dose of that cardamom and for me to like cardamom but not really like it in this one i just feel like it's just too much in this one but i am going to give it a proper wear once i get it in a um, a sprayer atomizer the other one is Jasmine Marzipan. Now this one I do like. I do like, but again, like Santal Cardamom, I really need to wear this uh, sample, try this sample properly out of a atomizer so that I can see how it plays off my skin. But off of the dab that I experienced, it's pretty good. I'm not sure if it's good enough for me to purchase a full size bottle of yet. But when I did smell this, it reminded me of the Zara scent that I've already gone through that Zara had discontinued. And I can't remember the name. It was Jasmine something, but it had a green top. Anyway, it reminds, it puts me in the mind of that scent and I really love that scent. So once I get the opportunity to properly wear this one, I'll come back and let you know whether or not I feel like this is full bottle worthy. But right now it's pretty, but I don't think it's pretty enough for me to grab a full bottle. Okay. Yeah. So that's the little story that I wanted to share with you on Oud Bouquet. I'm happy to add her to my collection for the fall season and I will be getting a lot of wear out of her. So if you enjoyed this video guys go ahead and rate me down below leave me a comment let me know if you have oud bouquet if you like oud bouquet also if you do have it let me know if you have the old formulation or the new one and if you've smelled both let me know if there's a significant difference between the two okay all right so until the next time i'll catch you on the next one guys bye